Hey everyone, Kai here. So today I wanna to talk to you about something that's really, really important and that's mentorship. And a lot of people don't know the value of mentors and mentorship. So I'm just going to jump right in into my own personal story. Growing up, I didn't have a mentor. I always wanted one. I didn't have one and I used to wonder what's wrong with me that no one wants to mentor me and so well into college um, and even into my career I didn't have a mentor I didn't have anyone that could guide me I didn't have that but I also didn't realize the different forms that mentors should come and I didn't realize that mentors are not just fairy godmothers or fathers that just pop up into your life, sometimes you have to chase and go after them. So this feeling and this desire of wanting more while I was at my first job and just knowing that there was more out there for me, but not knowing how to navigate my career, not knowing how, you know, this will happen. I actually, upon meeting someone who started at my job as a lawyer, I was intrigued by her. And she was at my desk and she was signing a paper that I was supposed to give back to my boss. And on it, I realized that she was a Pisces. I realized she was born February something. And I, I'm a Pisces. I immediately was like, oh my gosh, what if this is the mentor that I've been waiting for? <laughs> I got really excited about her. So when she settled in, maybe about two months into her role, I decided, I sat on this for two months, a few months, I decided to ask her if she wanted to go for a walk. And she said, sure. And I was like, I just wanna to get to know you. You know, I wanted to go to law school and you're a lawyer. So I would just love to just talk to you if you wanna go for a walk with me, um, we totally can. And she was like, absolutely. And one day, we, she came by my desk, we took a walk, and I told her all about my life and all about my story and all about what I wanted to do. And she told me also about hers. And therein lied a amazing bond that I have to this day. And I wanna say that was like in 2014. When she really made herself known as, oh, I need this person forever was on my 27th birthday. She took me out for lunch to celebrate. It was our Pisces lunch that we had. And she says, Kaidi, you're not getting any younger and your career is going nowhere. You're young now, don't wait till it's too late. You have so much ahead of you. You have so much going on for yourself. You need to get out. <laughs> And now when I tell her that story, she always thinks that she's so mean and she was being mean, but she really doesn't know that she changed my life. Like that tough love, you're not getting any younger. You need to get out and start going into a career where you can grow and you can thrive. That changed the whole trajectory of my life. And so I cannot thank her for her value that she's added to my career. And, you know, later on, she became my accountability partner. She um, really guided the ship in helping me, telling me, she told me stories of people who stayed at the same job for too long. Like she was just amazing and she was real. And I can't thank her enough for who she is and what she's done for my life. Now I wanna talk about peer mentorship because that's also a form of mentorship that a lot of people don't realize is a thing. We always assume that mentors is like the person that's older than us and wiser and have more seniority in their career. But I've also learned the value in having your peers also speak life and mentor you. And so I have two people like that in my life who are in my industry, who are my peers and who I admire and look to advice for. And one of them 
uh, she, her role, she's my best friend. She's one of my best friends. And her role was exposing me to the career that I'm in now. So she would always take me along with her when she was working in New York because she's not from here. She would always bring me along to conferences, to events, um, just to different opportunities. She would share what she was doing. I saw her working in booths and just seeing what she did, I was like, wow, I wanna do that. Like, I love what she's doing. And she didn't have to do that, but she did. She never didn't share an experience with me when she could. And she always like spoke life into me as well. But even without her saying anything, I admired her because she's my age and she was and is a boss. She doesn't have to speak it just by the way she um, being with her around her colleagues, the way she dressed, the way she speaks, the way she was respected by everyone, the way that she could walk into a room and the world would stop because she's there, everyone loved her. She mentored me by who she is. And it was something that I'm like, oh my gosh, my friend is a boss. How can I get some of that? And this is during a time where I was just like, just trying to figure it out. She took me to the ABFF Film Festival and that film, just by her sharing again, that opportunity with me, she didn't have to, it was for work. She had extra passes. She actually invited me two times. The first year I said no, the second year I went and it changed my life, changed my whole life. And um, she didn't have to do that. And I remember one day while we were at that festival, I was going to wear like this t-shirt. I was gonna wear like this really like dingy t-shirt. I think I have it over there, I still have it too. And I love it. And she was like, Kai, you look like you're wearing a pa like pajamas. She's like, you know, we're at a festival and it's kind of like work. So maybe you should put on something that's more you know, and I was like, well, but this is more comfortable and I feel good. And she was like, well, you know, as you prepare yourself for the industry you want to be in, you should start dressing appropriately. And it was so subtle. It was so, it slapped me in my face. And it wasn't insulting either. Like it wasn't insulting. It changed my life because I then at that moment learned the epitome of don't dress for where you're at, dress for where you wanna go. And she was preparing me and that whole weekend I was being prepared and I was getting a reflection of what I would soon be a part of in my future. A year later, I was working in media. And so, and I that was my life and I had to dress the part. And so her just, again, being who she is, exposing me to things, um, sharing, allowing me to share her success and just just oh, she was my mentor and she me and her i'm actually a month older than her she's my peer um another peer mentor i had was actually when i first started in media and she has since left the company to go to law school but this woman was literally like the bomb like she would just encourage me she actually advocated for me so she knew she was about to leave and I think even before she still would have done it but she went into my boss and she advocated for a role for me in a way that I you know the stuff that I was doing should be expanded and it was actually a full-time job and she literally advocated for me and um, I will never forget that. Whenever there was like a resume, like if I was working on my resume, she would say, let me read it. She was like in the communications department. So she proofread my resume, proofread my cover letter. Like she advocated for me. She is the true definition of sisterhood. And she 
just literally, she didn't have to. She just saw, we worked together and she saw something in me and she's just like, and she was younger than me. She was actually a few years younger than me. And she's just like, yeah, Kaidi, I just wanna see you grow. I just wanna see you thrive. I will do everything in my might to do that. And she did. I mean, what she did for me was, I'm left speechless. And what all of these women did for me has definitely left me speechless you know like they've all played a part in my career in helping me grow and wanting to see me succeed and not only just saying it but actually like going the extra mile and even in like the subtle ways like it doesn't take much to just correct someone right and that's what both um my friend and my mentor from my first job did subtly corrected me your career is going nowhere, you know? And for me, what that comment did, for me, it, it literally catapulted me into where I am now. But what it did for me is it exposed that other people could see what I deep inside knew. And for me, for so long, I was like, well, I know I'm going through the motions, but if other people think it's okay, and if other people think I'm doing so well, then I guess it's fine. But deep inside I knew I deserved more and I wanted more and I couldn't hide that dirty little secret that what I was doing was probably and I hate to use these words I don't want to use the word that I'm thinking but it wasn't me it wasn't for me and people knew I deserved more and that was kind of sad too that they were watching me kind of like they were probably watching me pitifully tough love is a powerful thing, I tell you. I will always love it and respect it. And it takes a real one to really tell you the truth. I'm gonna go on to talk about the other ways in which mentorship can manifest. And this is, you know, I wish I could have told my younger self this, but mentorship, it may not necessarily come from a person. It could also come from YouTube. You can watch um, speakers speak at different conferences and you know what i've learned um in my role in media is that speaker series are so important and they're a form of mentorship we now have ted talks where you can literally watch people say a speech and empower or gold coast um where you can watch someone say empowering speeches and really get your whole life we have um resources that can serve as mentorship. I think we have books and that's something that I did. That was a form of my mentorship when I was navigating my career and my career pivot was I read, I read memoirs. And I personally liked reading memoirs during that time because I wanted to see how other people do it or did it. And um, reading people's memoirs, you see where they start. Back in, back in that time and to this day, you know, there was, I felt like there was a drought in telling real stories. We always saw the success story, but we didn't see the started from the bottom stories. And social media, this is at its height where, you know, you you saw the glammed up stuff, but you didn't see this, the real gutter. And I was yearning for the gutter stories. I was yearning for the people like me who was just trying to find their way out. So I found that in a lot of the memoirs that I read of successful people that I admired, where they would have no choice but to be real and tell you, hey, this is where I started and this is how I got there. And I found a lot of refuge. Like I read Taraji's um, memoir and I learned that she, um, she, the Benjamin Button movie, Hollywood didn't pay her they did not do right by her they screwed her actually and it was tyler perry who gave her an opportunity mentor and not only that but um i learned the struggles of people you know and that even the highest of high stars go through stuff and so that's why i think it's important to read memoirs mentorship can come in many forms it can come in the form of books memoirs YouTube, TED Talks, TV shows, documentaries, LinkedIn, you name it. You can find, you know, valuable advice from all of those resources. You know, people, celebrities, they're writing 
books. They're sharing their secret to success. And so it will be remiss of you not to take advantage of it and utilize all the resources that you have to learn more about how other people did it in the industry that you're in or in the industry that you want to be in. That's all I have for you. I hope you like, subscribe, and share with others. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.